Hey, God bless you guys. Um, you know, I just saw something and it just kind of, kind of blew my mind. But uh, it is what it is. And there's not much you can do. You know, when people, they want to assume all kinds of things about you just because they don't, they don't really, you know, I don't want to assume about them. But they assume things about you. And I, you don't know why. Why are they assuming these things? Why are they assuming that you are, you're just like, they're assuming you're a false prophet or whatever, you know. Truthfully, I don't even want to be known as a prophet. I don't, you know, I don't put my face on here. I'm not out here touting my name on this thing to become the prophet, you know. <clears throat> I don't even care about profit status. I don't care about anything. All I know is I had dreams. I've had visions. I've had encounters with the Holy Spirit that line up with the Word of God. They line up with the Word of God, and I'm just bringing it out there. And I might not always do everything in the perfect way, but you know what? I'm willing to, I'm willing to humble myself. I'm willing to submit where I need to submit to God. And... um you know, there's just a lot of nastiness in pastoral leadership today. And I don't want to sit here and put down pastors, but there is a lot of nastiness going on. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of people that are getting prophetic visions, prophetic dreams. And it, it's lining up with the Word of God. And it's, and it's making sense what the church needs to do today in order for restoration, revival, and all these things to take place and yet all the all these pastors, all they're doing is sledgehammering these people. They're just sledgehammering. They, they think they're teaching them a lesson, you know. Well, I'm going to teach this guy a lesson and show him a few things about biblical correction, you know. But really, they're just mad because, because you have some kind of authority going on. And it's it's making their authority look bad because they're just doing it for status or whatever, you know, and the Lord gave me this vision a long time ago. I saw these two pastors, they were hitting this guy and they, they looked a lot like trolls, you know, they look like trolls and they're hitting this guy with sledgehammers. They're just beating on him. They, and they thought they were doing him a good thing. You know, they thought they were doing good to him. They're beating on him and beating on him and beating on him and just slamming him. And they were expecting this guy to just fall over and just get back in line and sit down and shut up. That's what they wanted him to do. But you know what the guy did? He just went right through them. And it was like he got armored up after they kept beating on him like that. They just kept beating on him like that. And he got armored up. And he had like this shiny, beautiful armor. He had like a, he looked like, kind of like those guys from, you know, um, the Three Musketeers or something like that. You know, he had like this beautiful shining armor. And it, it had like a blue kind of cape on the back. And he was just beaming with light and life and love and hope and just everything good. He had the full armor of God on after these pastors had just beaten on him. And they and these pastors kind of fell down behind him in the wayside. And, and you could just see the... You could just see how crappy these guys felt because they had just beaten on the guy that was trying to help them they're just beating on the guy that was trying to help them, trying to show them the way and here they had just beaten him into his calling they'd beaten the guy into his calling and they just kind of fell back behind the wayside behind this guy now is that is that what you want to do pastor is that what you want to do just beat on the people that christ has called to help you until they get into their calling, you just fall back behind them because you didn't listen to God and they were? Is that what you want? Because that's what's going to happen to these pastors who, you know, God is calling them. He's calling them to humble themselves in a certain spot and they just don't like it. And a lot of these guys, you know, they're doing good in a lot of areas and then God calls them to this one area and they won't do it. They just won't do it. And it's like they're saying, I'm above you, God. I don't need to do this. I don't need to humble myself here. But God's saying, yes, you do. Yes, you do. There's reasons why I snuffed out, I said I was going to snuff out people's lampstands 
in Revelation. If you just if you if you if you forget the love that you had at first, I'm going to take away your lampstand. It's not it's simple. It's simple math here. You got to you got to submit and you got to listen to me. And if you don't, you're just going to fall back in the into the shadows. And you're not going to continue forward. You know, the seed that fell into the bad soil, it grew up a little ways and then it stopped growing. If you stop growing, you stop growing. You're not growing anymore. You're in the bad soil. I'm sorry to tell you, Pastor. You got to keep growing. And you might have to hear it from a guy like myself who's going to put it to you straight. Because I will. And you're going to hear it from me. I'm not going to pull any punches. I'm going to stick it to you straight. Pastor, you need to listen. You're not that smart. Jesus Christ is a little bit higher than you are. And he's got something to tell you. It's time to lower yourself and let him become full head over you. God bless you guys.